the Akong Tadala hymn 18.4 89 verses Rise to your mother flames of Jephthavitis I send you up by paths which fathers traverse with headlong speed the oblation bearer for our gifts toil ye and place the offerer where the righteous dwell the seasons, deities, form, and order worship, butter, cake, ladles, sacrificial weapons, tread thou, God-traveled paths, whereby the righteous, payers of sacrifices, go to Svarga. Carefully look on, sacrifices pathway, where on, the Andrasis, the righteous travel. By those same pathways go thou up to Sabarga, where the Adityas take their fill of sweetness. There, make thy home in the third vault of heaven. Three eagles in the region's roar are standing high on heaven's ridge. In their appointed station. The worlds of Svarga shall, filled full of Amrita, yield food and power to him who sacrificeth. Upabrit established heir to who the heaven. Dhruva supported earth, securely founded. As Mead. The Svarga worlds are spread with fatness, shall yield the sacrificer all his wishes. Dhruva, ascend thou, earth, the all-sustainer, go thou, O Upabrit, to heirs mid-region, to who go skyward the sacrificer, go and with Sruva be my calf beside thee, Drain all the swelling, unreluctant quarters. They ford the mighty rivers by the pathway which they who sacrifice the righteous travel. There they gave room unto the sacrificer. When they made regions and existing creatures, the Angaras' pathway is the eastern Agne. The Aditya's pathway is the Garhapatya. The southward Agne is the way of southerns. To Agne's greatness, whom the prayer divideth, go powerful, unscathed, with all thy members, eastward, let east fire happily consume thee, and westward happily the Garhapatya. Burn southern fire, thine armor and protection. From Ayr's mid-region, from the north and center, on all sides, Agne, guard thou him from horror. Do ye with your most kindly forms, O Agne, waft, turn to rapid steeds, whose ribs bear burdens, the sacrificer to the world of Svarga, where with the gods they banquet and are joyful. Happily from the rear, Burn this man, Agne, happily from before, above, and under. One triply parted, Jephthavetus, place him happily in the world that holds the righteous. Happily lit, let fires each Jephthavetus seize on Prajapata's appointed victim. Let them not cast it down while here they cook it. Sacrifice duly offered comes. Preparing the sacrificer for the world of Svarga. Let all the fires, each Tvedas, welcome Prajapata's completely offered victim. Let them not cast it down, while here they cook it. Fain to fly up from the sky's ridge to heaven. The worshipper hath mounted visible acne. Lucid from out the midst to him, the pious gleams, the god-traveled path that leads to Svarga. On thy right hand, let Indra be 
Vai Brahman Brahaspata Advaryu Agne Hotar This ordered sacrifice goes offered thither whither presented gifts have gone aforetime enriched with cake and milk here let the charu rest world makers makers of the path we worship you of the gods weepings, who here partake elations enriched with cake and butter enriched with cake and curds Here let the Charu rest, world makers, makers of the path, we worship you of the gods, wipings, who here partake oblations. Enriched with cake and drops, here let the Charu rest, world makers, Makers of the path we worship, you of the gods, unfallen angels, who here partake oblations. Enriched with cake and butter, here let the charu rest. World makers, makers of the path we worship, you of the gods, who here partake oblations. Enriched with cake and mead, let the charu rest. World makers, Makers of the path, we worship you. Of the gods, wipings, who here partake oblations. Enriched with cake and juice, let the charu rest. World makers, makers of the path, we worship you. Of the gods, shining ones, who here partake oblations. Here, mixed with cake and water, rest the charu. World makers, makers of the path, we worship those gods. Light pinks, of you who here partake oblations, let these which the gods, shining ones, have held for thee, these beakers covered o'er with cake, be full of sacred food for thee, distilling fatness, rich in mead, grains which for thee I scatter, mixed with sesame. As holy food, may they for thee be excellent and potent. King Yama, look on them as thine with favor. More immortality on all the earth to heaven. The drop descended on this place and on that which was before it. I offer up throughout the seven oblations the drop which still to one same place is moving. Those who observe men Look on wealth as Vayu, with countless streams, and as a light-finding Arca, those drain out Gurdon, sprung from seven mothers, who satisfy and evermore give presents. They for their wheel drain out the cask, the beaker for hold, the milch cow, Ida full of sweetness, enter not Agne. In the loftiest heaven, Aditya, heightening strength among the people. On thee, the Savatar, the god, bestow this vesture for thy wear. Clothe thee herein, and bind meat robe in Yama's realm to cover thee. The grains of kernels have now become a cow, the sesame her calf. He in the realm of Yama, lives on her the inexhaustible. Let these become thy milch kind, man, supplying all thy heart's desires. There, speckled white, like hued, 
and am variously colored. With calves of sesame, let them stand beside thee. Let the green grains become thy white and speckled. The dusky grains become thy ruddy milch kind. Let those with calves of sesame forever yield strength to him and never flinch from milking. I offer in Vaisvanara this oblation, thousandfold spring that pours a hundred streamlets. This, with a swelling flow, supports the father, supports grandfathers and their sires before them. Beside the spring, with hundred thousand currents, expanding on the summit of the water. Exhaustless, yielding strength, never reluctant, the fathers with their sacred food are seated. This pile of wood, collected, heaped together, regard it, O ye kinsmen, and come near it. To immortality this mortal goeth. Prepare a home for him, all ye his kindred. Be here, even here, acquiring wealth. Here be thou, thoughts, here be thou strength. Be stronger here than thy power, now hither, and be thou back, giving the sun and grain him thy destruction. Let him the precious water, full of sweetness, pouring forth food and a middle cup for his father. For breath of these and those, the goddess waters, waters send Agne forward to the father, let them accept the sacrifice I offer. May they who follow vigor that abideth there send us down wealth with full store of heroes. Lover of butter, deathless him, oblation bearer, they in flame. He knoweth well the treasured stores. Gone to the fathers, far away. The mingled draught, the mess of rice, the flesh which I present to thee, may these be full of food for thee. Distilling fatness, rich in sweets, grains which for thee I scatter, mixed with sesame as sacred food, may these for thee, the excellent and potent King Yama, look on them as thine with favor. This is the ancient this recent pathway by which thy sires of olden time departed they who first traveled it and they who followed convey thee to the world where dwell the righteous the pious call sarasvati they worship sarasvati while sacrifice proceedeth the righteous doers of good deeds invoke her sarasvati send bliss to him who giveth Approaching on the south, our solemn worship. The fathers call Sarasvati to hear them. Sit on this holy grass, and be ye joyful. Give thou us strengthening food that brings no sickness. Sarasvati, who tamest with them, join in hymns and food. O goddess, with the fathers, here give the sacrificer a growth of riches, a portion worth a thousand of refreshment. As Prithibi rest on earth, so do I seat thee. May the god Vatar lengthen our existence. For you may he who parts in turn find treasures, but let the dead among the fathers depart ye. 2. Wipe ye away whatever omens of evil fortune here have told you. Go from this man both steers to him who wills it. Ye are my joys here by the givers fathers from a good quarter have we gained this guerdon gift of this man strength giving plenteous smoker bringing in youth old age unto the living may she bear these together to the fathers i bring this clipped grass hither for the fathers grass living higher for the gods i scatter mount this o man as victim let the fathers recognize thee when thou hast travelled yonder, set on this grass, thou hast become a victim. Fathers shall know thee, yonder, when they meet thee. Gather thy body, limb by limb together, I, by the power of prayer, arrange thy members. 
the royal Parna is the cauldron's cover. Strength have we gained, force, power, and might, and vigor, bestowing length of life upon the living for long existence through a hundred autumns. The share of vigor which gave this man being. The stone won lordship over foods that nourish. Him this with your oblations, Visvamitras, may he, may Yama, lengthen our existence. As the five races of mankind for Yama set apart a house, even so I set a house apart that greater numbers may be mine. Take thou, and wear this piece of gold, the gold thy father used to wear. Wipe tenderly the right hand of thy sire. Who goes away to heaven, to all the living and the dead, all that are born the worshipful. Let the full brook of fatness run, are flowing with stream of mead. Far sing, he flows on, the bull, the lord of hymns, promoter of the sun, of days, of dawns, of heaven. Breath of the rivers, he hath roared into the jars, and through his wisdom entered into Indra's heart. Let thy bright smoke envelop thee, spread forth, O bright one, in the sky, for pure fire, like the sun, thou shinest with thy radiant glow. Indu is moving forth to Indra's destined place, and slights not as a friend the promise of his friend. Now Soma comes nigh as bridegroom meets the bride, reaching the beaker by a course of hundred paths. Well have they eaten and rejoiced, their dear ones have they shaken off, sages self-luminous have praised, we who are youngest supplicate, come hither fathers who deserve the soma, by the deep pathways which the fathers travel, bestow upon us life and store of children, and favor us with increase of our riches, depart, O fathers, who merit soma, by the deep pathways which the fathers travel. But in a month, rich and fairer sons and heroes come back into our homes to eat oblation. If Agne took the Bettis, as he bore you hence to the Father's world, hath left one single limb of your bodies, here do I restore it. Fathers, rejoice in heaven with all your members. Meet for men's praises. Agne took the Bettis, was sent as envoy when the day was closing. Thou gavest to the fathers with oblation, they are, they eat, eat. God are offered sacrifices. Here hast thou left thy heart, O man, as sisters leave their little pet. Do thou, O earth, envelop him, bright be to thee. Those worlds where dwell the fathers, I seat thee in that sphere which they inhabit. Thou art the grass whereon our fathers seat them. Loosen, O Varuna, the bond that binds us. Loosen the bond above, between, and under. Then, under thy protection, O Aditya, may we be sinless and restored to freedom. From all those bonds... O Varuna, release us, wherewith a man is bound. At length and crosswise, then may we live a hundred autumn seasons, guarded by thee, O King, by thee protected, to Agne, bearer of oblation, to the mains be hail and homage. To Soma, connected with the fathers, hail and homage. To the fathers, connected with Soma, hail and homage. 
to Yama, connected with the fathers, hail and homage. To thee, O oh, great grandfather, and those with thee be this cry of hail. To thee, great grandfather, and to those with thee be this cry of hail. To thee, O oh fathers, be this cry of hail. Hail to the fathers who inhabit earth. Hail to the fathers who inhabit the firmament. Hail to the fathers who dwell in heaven. Hail fathers to your energy. Hail fathers to your sap. Hail fathers to your wrath. Hail fathers to your ardor. Hail fathers to what is awful. Hail to what is terrible in you. Hail fathers to all that is propitious. Hail to all that is pleasant to you. Homage to you fathers. Hail to you fathers. All fathers who are here. Ye fathers here are you. Let them follow you. May ye be the most excellent of these. All living fathers who are here. We are here. Let them follow us. May we be the most excellent of these. Bright Agne will we kindle thee. Rich in thy splendor, fading not, so that this glorious fuel may send forth the heaven its light for thee. Bring food to those who sing thy praise. Within the waters runs the moon, the strong winged eagle soars in heaven. Ye lightnings, with your golden wheels, men find not your abiding place. Hear this my call, O heaven and earth, and let us remember to remember ultimate divinity more than we remember our ascendance and to not exceed the bounds in praising the ascendance. Now, the modes of particular acts of worship are going to vary by the seasons, but you know, we need to do what we need to do regardless of that. Um, and so we have an etc. as in stanza 16, enriched with cake and milk and butter. Here let the charu rest, world makers, makers of the path. We worship you of the gods who here partake oblations. Verse 17, enriched with cake and curds, etc. 18, enriched with cake and drops, etc. 19, enriched with cake and butter, etc. 20, enriched with cake and flesh, etc. 21, enriched with cake and food, etc. 22, enriched with cake and mead, etc. 23, enriched with cake and juice, etc. And 24, they don't do that here. Mix with the cake and water, rest the charu. World makers, makers of the path who worship those gods of you who here take oblations. And the pathways of the beings. Nowadays we have Kabbalah paths and all that other sort of stuff, and that kind of makes you think of that in a way, doesn't it? <laughs> 